Hi everyone, hope you're well and that you enjoyed the conclusion of the Tyrrell Premier 15s. Congratulations to Saracens on a tremendous win. Unfortunately, I had to watch from afar due to work commitments, but Adam and Amy did a fantastic job. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you check out the video of all the highlights from that game in the link below. Anyway, something we at the Women's Rugby Show always discuss is the subject of a cup competition for the upper tier of the women's game. Especially now with so many players going on professional contracts, it seems almost the perfect time for a cup or two for the women's sport. And of course, in the men's game in England, they play in numerous cups, the Champions and Challenge Cups in Europe and the Premiership Rugby Cup as their domestic cup. And personally, I think something similar would be a fantastic idea for the women's game. Anything that could promote this sport further at such a key time can only be a positive. And we saw how the Tyrrell Premier 15s caught the attention of the media more and more throughout the season. Just imagine adding to that some dramatic games, giant killings in the cup and an exciting final. Just be a real plus. Now, for me personally, the good thing about cup competitions is that they always tend to throw up an unlikely result. Of course, we know as it stands in the league that Saracens and Harlequins are very much far ahead of the rest of the pack and over a season, the best team in the league will always finish at the top. But in a one-off game, that can be very different. And it could be that one of the sides who are in the lower part of the table could go on a cup run, maybe don't have much to play for in the league, but then they end up with a trophy. And imagine how great that will be for their fans and also for the reputation of the club. The playoffs have that sort of cup run feel and it just adds so much extra excitement. And imagine, for example, if Saracens reach a stage where they're going for the league, they're going for the cup, maybe they're even going for a treble if we introduce a European competition. Just adds so so much prestige to the Tyrrell Premier 15, to the brand and also to the players that are attracted to it. Now I think a European competition, that would really be where you want the creme de la creme of women's rugby. On the field, it's an opportunity for players to test themselves against new opponents who they then could come up against on the international stage. What about for the fans? Imagine a trip to Milan, to Barcelona, so exciting, beats a rainy day here. At the moment, I mean, as far as I'm aware, the only official cross-border championship in women's rugby is the Iberia Cup, where the champions of Spain play the champions of Portugal. And we're actually a country where they don't play test rugby, so it's a bit of an unfair matchup. But in 2018, there was a shock when the Portuguese champions beat the Spanish champions. Really exciting game. Just imagine if we could introduce something similar across Europe. It'd be so, so good. Right, so who should feature? Well, of course, the Tyrrell Premier 15s champions obviously has to feature, and I'd also have the runners-up in the main competition. And if there was to be a secondary competition like the Challenge Cup, for example, then put the two beaten playoff semi-finalists in that as a reward for what is really a good season for them for finishing in the top four. Of course, there remain some limitations with not all players on pro contracts, but I think if you had a straightforward knockout competition to start with, rather than bringing in an initial group stage, then that brings down the number of games, stops it from being overwhelming, and as I said, just a great opportunity to showcase the brand of the Tyrrell Premier 15s and the players that play in it across Europe. I can definitely see this happening in the future. I think for least now, a domestic competition is a must. I would play it at a similar time to the Men's Premiership Rugby Cup. They use it very much as a development competition. They play it during the Autumn Internationals and the Six Nations. So it's a great opportunity to play younger players, give them a chance. And also for us fans, it'd be a great time to get our league fixed when the league teams aren't in action. Anyway, that are my, that's my thoughts on whether we should have a cup competition. Very much a big yes from me. In fact, I'm after two. But I want to know what you think. So please comment in the box below and let me know your thoughts.